Oh, hi there, Captain Goujon here, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. I've had this game for quite a long time, actually, and play it lots. But just because I play it lots does not necessarily mean that I'm good at it. I saw a YouTuber called Robaz playing it many, many moons ago, and thought it looked fucking awesome. So I bought it, played it for like 120 hours or something insane like that, and never actually improved. But yeah, the game, aim of the game is to build spaceships and get them into space. I say that it's the aim you can, chances are you won't because it's fucking hard. So we're going to do some basics and probably a little bit of failure. Probably mostly failure actually more than anything else. Here we are in our super sexy modern hangar with the Kerbals in downstairs just kind of fucking around. Wearing yellow hats. They've got trucks and stuff too. So yeah, you've got fucking shed loads of parts. I've got a few mods installed, but you get the idea. There's, there's loads. Like, lots. I'm going to start with something super basic, and I'm going to go on to show you some of the shit I've already built. None of it works, but I'm going to show you anyway, because I can. But yeah, you start with yourself a nice, nice little, little cozy command pod just there. No, isn't that cute? And then you go ahead and add on engines, like so. Look at that. Looks like a ship already. I'm so proud of myself. You've got loads and loads of engines and fuel types to choose from, but we'll keep it basic, because I have no idea what half this shit does, even though I've played it a lot. I'm going to start with the standard T-45. Yeah, T-45 sounds good. The main thing with engines is gimbal. Gimbal is king in the land of the blind. Gimbal is basically whether you can rotate the bottom cuff or not. It sounds really unimportant, but actually it turns out it really is quite important, as I found out when I first started playing this game. I'm going to add some, some sweet-ass sweet -ass stuff on that. It's probably a little bit too big. I mean, the, the scale you can build things on this game is phenomenal. I mean, these wings are actually just kind of little add-ons. Little add-ons for big ships. Like, really big ships. So we're going to have something a little bit smaller. Tail fin. That's perfect. So yeah, you want to you wanna keep everything kind of symmetrical, because that's important. That's very important. And we're going to go four times symmetrical. There we go. It's beautiful. Another, another few things that you probably need to know is detaching other stuff from stuff. This is all true astronaut terminology, by the way. You can look it up. It's in the book. Yep, the book. By that guy. Seriously, look in the library. It's there. It's not there. Stack decoupler. Perfect. So that will basically allow you to detach your pod from the ship when you, chances are, will come crashing to Earth. Where is it? Parachute. Boom. Like a little fez. Tiny fez. On top of that, you also want to do some stabilizing. I mean, you can start off by doing legs if you want to do legs. In fact, we'll do that because it just, it'll just save time and fucking around. The amount you can actually do in this game is insane. It's... I've actually managed to get to the moon. I'm so proud of myself. It's like a, a really big thing for me. So we're just going to call this... I'm going to name something really imaginative. Peace. Oh, hello. Peace. Oh. Shit. Mark 1. Perfect. And there we have piece of shit Mark 1 ready to launch. So yeah, this is a really, really basic one, and these ones are easy to get into space. I say this, I'll probably fail now. But that's okay, so we're gonna have to throttle right up. Gonna throttle right up in there. Mmm, real nice. And launch. Gonna retract our legs. There we go. And the key is to try and just get it into orbit, really. Probably will be able to do it in this because it's really light and you've got loads of fuel. Because that entire tank in the middle. It's just petrol. Well, it's probably not petrol. Red diesel. Probably red diesel. Probably not going to get this one into orbit, so we're going to cut engines here. Look at that. Look at that. It's a good height, though. So, you can also go to map, and it'll tell you exactly what's going on. I've already got a few ships in orbit. They're fucked. They've got no fuel left, so I'm just going to leave those just there. And there we go. We kind of did something good. We're approaching our applaps. Oh no, we're, we're leaving our app. Oh no, we're approaching it, that's fine. Which is the highest point of your orbit, in essence. So once that's in space, you can actually level it out and shit, but that's not really too interesting right now. We want to be pointing directly, facing the Earth, just to, e <laughs> just to ease that transition into the orbit. Come on, piece of shit, come on. Oh, it's called piece of shit. How ironic. Well, we're not going to get back to the base. I lied to you all. And now you can just pop that top off. Off comes the fez. Boop. There it is. And now you just plummet to your death. Awesome. Parachute.
Oh, there's going to be a bit of explosion down there. Oh, there it is. There's the explosion. And parachute, and all is good with the world. You can also ride on the outside if you feel like it. Feeling like a crazy, crazy Kerbal. There he is. Look at his staring dead eyes. Not even holding on to anything, that's how good he is at this. Incredible. So I've made a lot of random junk on this game already. I'm going to load some of that stuff in. And there we have the HMS Boneless. This is the single one. This is the smaller of the two that I built. I would show you the, the building process, but this one wasn't too exciting since it took quite a lot of designing and it still doesn't work. So we're going to just fire it into space anyway and just, just see what happens because it's crazy and stuff. Also, the music in this game is brilliant. It's like feel good, definitely going to die in space music, if that's even a thing. It is now. Look at the si Oh, God. <laughs> good start. As you can see, the HMS Boneless launches perfectly. Bruce Willis is going to be pissed. And that, guys, is how you Kerbal Space Program. We're going to try and build something that actually flies now, because that was just per <laughs> just perfect. We're going to start with the good old cockpit. <laughs> cockpit. It's got, the cock, it's got cock in the word. It's funny because it's a penis. And we're going to stick that right at the top. It's going to be a, a, a two-stage ship. One's going to be for getting into orbit and the other one's going to be flying around in space and shit. We're going to try and make it look good. I have a tendency to make things look terrible though, so prepare for that. So we're going to try and make a little space jet out of the top, the top half. Uh, you can also turn off the horizontal thing so you can put them wherever you want, but it makes things very, very difficult when it comes to aligning stuff. So I'm going to put that back on again. Those are, those are just the perfect size. Just right. Awesome. I'm going to put some cone tips on those as well, just to kind of, you know, because this isn't aerodynamic enough. Okay. I need some little engines on there too. Propulsion. My go-to engines in this game are absolutely the T45s. They're just... They're the perfect all-rounder for, for all the family. They also have good gimbal. John Gimbal. Get the toy and bring it to the carpet. Ah, Not that John Gimbal. And we're going to put a smaller engine on the back. So I think the, T, the T30 will do the trick. You've got to be really economical with your fuel in this game, otherwise you will just end up bobbing around in space like a disabled boy in the ocean. Awesome. So I've kind of pimped out the top bit with lights and shit that you don't really need on, but I think makes look shit hot. And some bit of stabilizing cables on the top too. It's just lovely. It's just perfect. And it's like everything I dreamed of and more to die in space in. Now we're going to build the launch stage, which is the most important part really, because this is what's going to get us off the ground. And we're going to start with some big old engines. Like this. This engine's going to be perfect for what I need. Boop, that one goes there. So those will just give us an extra boost in the center without us losing the center of mass. So it won't just cripple and break in half when we launch that shit off. Not my most thorough work, but it'll work. It'll do the job. Absolutely fine. Just fine. And we're going to name this one... I'm going to call it... I'm going to call it Pessimism. Because I'm pessimistic this is going to make it into space. Here we are. Pessimism's ready for the off. Look at how gloriously it stands. Wonderful. Let's get the throttle up. I'm going to put on some some aids. You can get like things that basically steady you and make sure you don't go off course and that sort of shit. But you know what? Let's stop talking. Let's get cracking with the knacking. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's die. Pretty loud as well. Look at that shit. Look at fucking, it's majestic. And it's as straight as an arrow. That is just beautiful. So we're going to get nice and high. And then we're going to break off the rest of those engines. This is where this game gets a little bit harder. Because as you enter orbit, everything goes very confusing. Well, probably just me that it gets confusing for. Loads of fuel in this engine. Absolutely fucking loads. So I'm just going to go nice and horizontal leg to about there. 
And we're coming to about the edge of the danger zone. Danger zone! By danger zone, I mean the atmosphere, obviously. And we're nearly out of fuel, which is not ideal, but we'll be okay. We'll be absolutely fine. Because as long as we get to fairly high altitude, we can just fire out of that shit. I say. Probably going to regret saying that now. Awesome. That's what you want to see. So you want to cut that engine just now. And you want to break off in three, two, one. Pop! Now I want to throttle up these engines. And away we go. Oh, God. What are those... <laughs> What were those explosions? Oh, something just exploded. That's fine. But that's it. So we've broken off from the main one. That one's going back to Earth. Bye-bye. Goodbye. And we're looking good. I'm going to throttle down and get a little bit closer to my Apple app since that will widen out my orbit. So these are super maneuverable in space. Purely because there's fuck all gravity. <laughs> that's awesome. Gravity sucks dick. Just gonna rotate it over so it looks the correct direction. Look at how pretty this fucking game is. I don't know why I don't play this game more often, to be honest. Look at it. It's wonderful. So now we just need to throttle up and make myself a nice wide hole to slam myself right into. Disgusting. There we go. That side's gonna drive right up. Boom. That's it. Not a very not a very uh, even one, but it's an orbit, all the same. And just look at it, just, you know what, just take a second to really take all that in. You can go all the way out of here. It's just amazing. If you haven't got this game already, buy it. It is the best money I've ever spent on a game. It's hours of fun. It's fucking frustrating and it's time consuming, but my god, it's worth it. You feel like a real engineer. Even though you're not, you just sat at a computer, probably eating Doritos, probably crying afterwards because you haven't got a job. Either way. Anyway, this has been Kerbal Space Program. Next time we're going to try and get into the, to the moon, probably. Probably not with this one, because it's going to be fucked. Um, so yeah, if you've liked this shit, like this shit. Share, subscribe. Do what you got to do. And until next time, Captain Gujon. Out.